Now, there's another very useful type of file you might want to save, either into the internal memory of the analyzer or the USB memory stick, and that's called a state file. What that does, it saves the entire instrument setup. That's the frequency range, resolution bandwidth settings, marker values, trace settings, uh, attenuation, reference level, etc. All the instrument settings, and it saves them into a state file, which we can recall later. The great advantage of doing this, of course, is a huge improvement in quality of your measurements, because the same measurement at the same site can be made the same way every time, regardless of which operator is making the measurement and regardless of which instrument is being used. So I'll press Shift and then File, and then Save As. And this time, we want to save the data as a state file. So I can give it a name again. I'll call it, for example, Tony1. And then we press Enter. And if I change the view file type to state, you'll see here that there's a new state file saved called Tony1 that I saved at uh, 5 minutes to 1 on the 6th of April 2011. And what I can now do, if we go back to the main screen and hit Instrument Preset, so the instrument's now gone back to its factory default state. If I go Shift File, scroll down and select Tony1, and go Recall, you'll see the entire instrument has been set up exactly the same way as for the previous measurement that I'd made. Now I saved that instrument state into the internal memory. So once again, if I go to File here, scroll down to Tony1, I'll just select File Operations, and select that file, the green tick appears, and then Copy to USB, and Copy I'll press Enter to overwrite. You can see now that I've saved a copy of Tony1 onto my USB memory stick. And we can now copy that file onto other an analyzers of the same type, or recall it onto this analyzer the next time we go out on site. If you'd like further information on these products, including demonstration guides, operating manuals or application notes, please visit the website shown below.